Hello everyone, my name is Marsha Knotts and today I'll be showing you how to make the basic knots of friendship bracelets. Now if you are new to this channel, welcome! Here are some of the bracelets that I've recently made. I'll label them from 1 to 5 and you can find links in the description for tutorials on how to make these. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend that you watch my beginner's guide video after this one. I'll leave the link to it in a card that's going to be popping up on the right side of your screen and in the description as well. In that video I give a lot of valuable information such as pattern types, string types and lengths, different ways to start and finish your bracelets and much, much more. That is a great starting place for beginners to get into the world of friendship bracelets. Before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons whose support is the reason that I can continue making these videos. And a special shout out goes out to my top supporters who are Sunshine, Tia, Izzy, Lisa, Stephanie and Zoe. Thank you guys for your continued support. And if you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description for you to sign up and get exclusive perks. Now let's get into the video. So before we start, I just quickly want to mention that I'm using the beautiful yarn by the brand Alitze. And this specific yarn is Alice Sal Simli. And I did a whole video talking about this yarn and I'll leave that in the card and in the description for you to watch if you're curious about that. So when making friendship bracelets, there are four main types of knots. These are the knots that are used in the making of the bracelet. And they are also the knots that are represented in all of the patterns. Now again, this video is just about the knots. If you want to learn more about how to read patterns, I do have separate tutorials available for that. And again, as always, I will leave that in the description for you to check out later. Now the four main types of knots are the forward knot, which is represented by an arrow to the right, the backward knot, which is represented by an arrow to the left, the forward backward knot, which is represented by an arrow to the right and back to the left, and the backward forward knot, which is represented by an arrow to the left and then back to the right. Now let's go through these one by one, starting with the forward knot. So once again, the forward knot is represented by an arrow to the right. Knots in friendship bracelets are usually done between two strings. And in a forward knot, the string on the left is a leading string and makes a knot onto the string on the right. The forward knot moves the string from left to right while making a knot of its color. Now I'm gonna demonstrate that and you'll see that in just a second. So when you're making a knot, I like to really keep my strings tight. So when I'm making a forward knot, I take the string on the right and I put it in my pinky finger holding it just to make sure that it's tight so it doesn't slip out or get in the way when I'm making the knot. So yes, this is out of frame, but I'm just holding it with my pinky finger. Now to actually make the knot, I'm gonna take the string on the left, I'm gonna put it on my other finger just to keep it tight as well, and I'm gonna put it on top of the string on the left, that way making the shape of a four. So literally I'm just putting this string on top of the other string not doing anything special yet. Now what I do next is I extend my finger, I put it into the loop, under the string, then over this string, grabbing it with my nail, twisting the string through, and then I have to pull it up. But before I do that, I just want to show you that all we've done is we've literally just twisted one string over the other. And then I pull it up. Now when I pull my string up, I like to get really close to the string so I get greater precision. There we go, that's one half of the knot done. Each basic knot of the friendship bracelets are made with two halves. Now that was one half of the forward knot. The second half of the forward knot is exactly the same. So again, I put the string on my finger just to keep it tight. This one is still in my pinky. Again, it makes the shape of a four I extend my finger, I put it into the loop, under the string, over the other string, grabbing it, twisting it through and pulling it out. Now again, I just wrap the string around. And then what I do is I tighten the knot again. And there we go. There is a knot of the purple string and the purple string has successfully been moved from the left to the right. That is what a forward knot does. It moves a string from left to right while making a knot of its color. All right, so I've undone my knot just because I want to show you again from the top to make sure that you completely understand everything. So I'm taking this string on the right and I'm putting it into my pinky finger just to keep the string tight so it doesn't get in the way. That's all I'm doing, it is out of frame, but I promise you I'm not doing anything special. 
just holding it in my pinky finger. Now I take the string on the left and I put it onto the string on the right, just on top of it, like that. And then I hold it with my hand, just so it's out of the way as well. Now this makes the shape of a four, it's a forward knot, shape of a four, kind of similar, helps you remember. I extend my finger, I put it into the loop, under the string, over this string, and I twist it, grabbing it with my nail, I pull it through, and then I tighten the knot. Now that's one half of a forward knot. The second half is exactly the same. Again, I put my string on my finger, over the other string, making the shape of a four. I extend my finger, I put it in the loop, under the string, over the other string, twist it through, pull it through, and I tighten it once again. Right, now let me show you how to do this one last time, but this time I'm not gonna be doing it slowly. I'm gonna show you how I do it when I do it quickly. And just like that, that is how you make a forward knot. Now let's continue on to the backward knot. So in bracelet patterns, the backward knot is represented by an arrow to the left. The backward knot is an exact mirror image of the forward knot. So it makes the string on the right the active string, and it moves the string on the right to the left while making a knot of its color. Let's dive deeper into this. So, this time I'm gonna be taking the string on the left and I'm gonna be putting it in the pinky finger of my right hand. Again, this is just to keep the string tight so it's not in the way. Now I put the string on the left onto my index finger just to keep it tight as well, and I put it over the other string. Now you can see that this is a shape of a backwards four. This is because this is a backward knot. So a backwards four, a backward knot, this is just something to help you remember. Now same as last time, I extend my finger, I put it into the loop, under the string, over the other string, grabbing it with my nail, twisting it through, and pulling it out. And then I tighten the string. That is one half of a backward knot. The second half of a backward knot is exactly the same. So again, I put the string onto my index finger and over the other string, making the backwards four for a backward knot. I extend my finger, put it into the loop, under the string, over the other string, grabbing it with my nail, twisting it through the loop and pulling it out, and then tightening the knot. There you go. As you can see, the string moved from right to left and a knot of its color has been made. That is a backward knot. Now let's do this one more time. So once again, I take the string on the left, I put it in my pinky finger just to keep it tight so it's out of the way. I take the string on the right, put it on my index finger and over the other string, making the shape of a backwards four, backwards four for backward knot. I extend my finger, put it into the loop, under the string, over the other string, grabbing it with my nail, twisting it through and pulling it out, and then tightening the knot up. That is one half of a backward knot. Now I put the string onto my finger again, to complete the second half, I put the leading string over the other string, shape of a backwards four. I put my finger in the loop, under the string, over the other string, twisting it through and pulling it out. And then I tighten the knot. And there you go, the backward knot is complete. All right, let's go over this one more time, except this time I'm just gonna be making the knot and I'm not gonna be doing it slowly, just so you can see what it looks like when I make my knots fast. There you go, that's the backward knot. Now let's move to the forward backward knot. So in friendship bracelet patterns, the forward backward knot is represented by an arrow going to the right and then back to the left. The forward backward knot makes the left string the active string and makes a knot of its color by going to the right and back. That way they're leaving the strings in the same position as they started. So the forward backward knot doesn't move the string from left to right, the strings stay in the same position, but a knot is made of the left string's color. So in this case, it's going to be a purple knot. So let's go over how to make it. So as I've mentioned previously, the basic knots of friendship bracelets consist of two halves. 
In the forward knot and in the backward knot, both of those halves were exactly the same. In the forward backward knot, however, the halves are different. The first half of the knot is the same as that of the forward knot, and the second half is the same as that of the backward knot. Let me show you that in more detail. So, the forward backward knot. For the first half, we take this string, and I'm just putting it in my pinky finger to keep it tight. And we take the other string, and then just as we do in the forward knot, I put it on my finger just to keep it tight as well, and we make the shape of a four by putting this string on top of the other one. I extend my finger, put it into the loop, under the string, over this string, twist it, pull it through, and tighten the knot. So that is one half of the forward backward knot. To make the other half, we're gonna be doing a half of a backward knot. So I'm gonna change my hands, I'm gonna put the string into my other pinky, I'm gonna extend this finger, putting this string onto it to keep it tight, and again, I'm just putting the leading string over the other string. So this time, I'm making a backwards four, since this half of the knot is that of a backwards knot. I extend my finger, I put it through the loop, under the string, over the other string, twisting it and pulling it through, and then making the knot. Now there we go, our strings are in the exact same position as they started. The purple one is on the left, the yellow one is on the right, but there is a knot of the purple string being made. Now let me show you that once again. So, the forward backward knot once again. The first half of the knot is that of the forward knot. So we take the string on the right, put it in our pinky just to keep it tight, take the other string, put it over that string, making the shape of a four, extend our finger into the loop, under the string, over the other string, dragging it with our nail through the loop, twisting it out, and pulling it up. Now we switch hands, putting it in the other pinky, we take that string and put it on the other index finger, making the shape of a backwards four. I extend my finger into the loop, under the string, over the other string, grabbing it with my nail, pulling it through the loop and out, and then tightening my knot. And there we go, the forward backward knot. Now I'm gonna make the knot quickly. And that is the forward backward knot. Now let's move on to the backward forward knot. In bracelet patterns, the backward forward knot is represented by an arrow going to the left and then back to the right. The backward forward knot makes the string on the right the leading string, and the leading string goes to the left and then back, not changing the positions of the strings. So a knot is made of this color of the string on the right, but none of the strings change positions. The backward forward knot is done with the first half of the knot being that of a backward knot, and the second half of the knot being that of the forward knot. Let me show you how that's made. So the string on the so the string on the left, I'm just going to put in my pinky finger to keep it tight. I'm going to grab the string on the right, put it onto my index finger and over the other string, making the shape of a backwards four for the backwards knot. I'm going to extend my finger, put it into the loop, under the string, over this string, twisting it through and pulling it out and I'm going to tighten the knot. Now the second half of this knot is that of a forward knot. So I'm gonna switch these hands, I'm gonna put it into my other pinky finger, and I'm going to put the string over the other string in the shape of a four. Shape of a four for a forward knot. Extending my finger, putting it into the loop, under the string, over the other string, grabbing it with my nail, twisting it through and pulling it out, and then tightening the knot. And there we go. None of the strings changed positions. The purple one is still on the left, the yellow one is still on the right, and a knot of the yellow color has been made. Let me show you this one more time. So again, a backward forward knot. It's in the name. The first half of the knot is that of a backward knot. So I put this string into my pinky finger, I put this string over the other string, making the shape of a backwards four, I extend my finger, put it into the loop, under the string, over the string, grabbing it with my nail, pulling it through the loop, and then tightening the string. I then switch my pinky fingers, I take this string, I put it over the other string in the shape of a four this time, since the second half of the knot is that of a forward knot. I extend my finger, put it into the loop, 
under the string, over the string, twisting and pulling it through, and then tightening the knot. There we go. Now let me show you one more time, quickly. And there you go, that is the backward forward knot. So those were the four main knots of friendship bracelets. These are the knots that are used in patterns. However, there are more knots that can come up when making friendship bracelets. So let's go over them now as well. So the simple knot is a knot that can come up when making bracelets. This is a knot that is usually made to create loops. So in this case, I have some strands. I have just folded them in half to make sure that the ends meet on the other side, just like so. And here I'm going to create the loop to begin a bracelet. Now this is just the most basic loop that you can do. If you are curious about other types of loops and other types of closures, I have a whole playlist of tutorials and I'll leave that in the card and in the description for you to check out. But once again, this is just the simple knot. Here's the loop. I just put it onto itself. So the loop is here, this is just the end of the string, I just put it on itself, creating another loop. Now I take this loop and I put it underneath here and through the second loop, just like so. And then I tighten the knot. Now when you're actually making the loop, you might wanna tighten it closer here. I tightened it here just for demonstration purposes, but let me show you how to do that again. So I've folded my strings. I now put this loop onto itself like that. Then I put it under this string and I pull it through the loop. And I tighten the string. Let me show you one more time just to make sure you understand. Here's the loop. I put it onto itself, I put it under the new loop that has been created, and I pull it through like so. And then I tighten the knot. If you want to make it closer, you can tighten it closer, just like that. And there you go, a loop has been created and you can start making your braces from here. So the next knot I'm going to show you is called the Lark's Head Knot. And this can be used in many different ways, but one of the main ways is tying your strings to something. In my case, it's gonna be a keyring. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to fold my string, making sure the ends meet on the other side, and this is my midpoint right here. Now I'm gonna take my keyring, and I'm gonna take my string at the midpoint, and I'm gonna put it through the keyring like so. I'm now going to take the string on the other side, and I'm gonna put it through the loop right here. And tightening the knot. Just like that, the lark's head knot has been made. Now let me show you that one more time. So once again, I've folded my string. This is the midpoint. I take my keyring. I put the midpoint through the keyring, like so. I take the other string on the other side and I pull it through the loop here. And then I just keep pulling on this string, tightening the knot. And there you go, the knot is made. That is the lark's head knot, and now my string is attached to my keyring. So before I go, I just want to give you a few quick tips about making knots. So right here, I've got two strings and I need to make a knot between them. As you can see, both strings are of the same color. When two strings are of the same color, it does not matter which knot you do. You can do a forward knot, a backward knot, a backward forward knot, a forward backward knot, it does not matter. Because both strings are the same color, the knot is gonna come out the same color anyway. When you have two strings of different colors, that's a whole separate story, it does matter and you have to follow the pattern. But if they're the same, it really, really doesn't. Now, some more tips for you. The first half of the knot, I'm just gonna make a forward knot here. The first half of the knot is the one that positions your string. This is me making the first half, I can release it here, I can release it a little bit higher here, I can release it wherever because this is the first half of the knot, that's the one that's doing the positioning. Now if you want your knots to be close together and tight together, you want to position your knot in between the two previous knots, so these ones right here. So I want to drag my string 
all the way up to the top, pulling it tightly so that there's no space there, so it's right where, all the way up, in between the two previous knots. The second half of the knot, and again I'm just doing a forward knot here, is the one that secures your knot in place. Before you've done your second half, the knot can be moved, it can be changed, you can do whatever with it. So I've put, just pulled it all the way up, as I said before. But once you do the second half of the knot, that knot is secure and it is in place. And so the second half of the knot you also want to do really tightly, pulling it all the way up there, so the knot is nice and neat and small and right where you want it to be. So basically what I'm saying is, the first half of the knot positions your knot, the second half of the knot secures your knot, but you want to make both of those halves tight in order to get your knots to be nice and consistent. So there you guys have it. Those are the main types of friendship bracelet knots. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you are a beginner, I very highly recommend that you watch my beginner's guide after this video. It contains so much valuable information, including where to start, what patterns to do in which order to learn faster, everything about the different patterns, the different types of string, all of that kind of stuff is all in that video. As I mentioned as well, I also have a whole beginner's playlist, which will be linked in the card and in the description, with different beginner tutorials that could help you out in your bracelet journey. I also have a separate playlist on different starts and closures for your bracelets and I'll leave that in the description as well. I post tutorials every week but I also post a bunch of fun content to do with friendship bracelets so stay tuned if you're down for that. Once again I want to give a special shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you guys for being so awesome and supporting me and my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and sometimes I post bonus videos as well so keep your eyes out for that and I'll see you soon. Bye!